Hello there, and thanks for joining me today. Drew here on the Post Galactic Channel. We're going to introduce a new series, taking a closer look at some of the issues that go down uh, when they perform some of the artistic work that is, is supposed to be passed off as reality in space. Space itself, obviously, is a fiction because the Earth has been demonstrated beyond a shadow of a doubt to be absent of the necessary curvature uh, to create the basic cycle of day and night by daily rotation. That is necessary. It's the first necessity, I would say, of the heliocentric model close to home is that you have daily rotation. It's impossible if there's no curvature and the entire model collapses. So outer space as presented by people like NASA, SpaceX, and any of the international fraudsters that are in on the space game, it's absolutely uh, pantomime and performance art. So we're going to start today uh, by taking a look at a mission that you, I, I would have expected to find here in the live stream section uh, of NASA's video page along with all the other videos that seem to be here. Um, so it, I couldn't find this video on NASA's channel, so I'm going to use this Reuters copy today. And for the first video, we're going to take a closer look at the SpaceX CRS-27 cargo craft as it undocks from the ISS. And believe me, you do not want to miss this. If you love your outer space, maybe just click off and go somewhere else. That'd be the best thing to do. All right, see you in a moment. Shenanigans in the space. Shenanigans in the space. Shenanigans in the space. As someone once said, if it happened in space, it definitely didn't happen at all. Let's now investigate shenanigans in space on the post galactic channel. Shenanigans, All right, here we are. This was recorded live. It is the SpaceX CRS-27 cargo craft undocking from the ISS, or so we're told. Now, it's important to keep in mind that when this footage is done live, that's when the mistakes happen. That's when we get footage like this. If you were watching a Hollywood blockbuster, this footage we're watching right now will be in the trash can, and you would never see it. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that for NASA because they have an obligation to perform their art live, and they screw up. And I don't blame them because uh, faking reality, that's a huge burden. That's a difficult job. And they screw up all the time. And this is one of their most egregious errors, in my opinion. Some of the worst footage I've ever seen passed off as reality in space. So, we can see there's a lot of little dots on this screen. If, if you're, uh, By the way, you should probably watch this footage on a larger screen if possible. You, I, I think it's unlikely you'll see much on your phone or even possibly a, an iPad or whatever. Try to get to a full-size monitor for looking at this stuff. Uh, there are a lot of red and white dots on the screen, and it, it makes the craft look completely transparent. So my first thought was, well, perhaps these red and white dots are actually on the this side of the craft. Um, but then when I started testing that, I noticed that the craft goes over the red dots. Like if we look in here, there's three red dots. There's one here, one here, and one here. And actually, there's, there's another dot over here. So this would be what I'm calling a white dot. But these are red ones. So the first thing we're going to notice is that the craft itself will cover the red dots. Once the steel goes over these dots, they become invisible. Okay, so that's once we've noted that, well, that, that informs us that the dots are not to the foreground of the craft. So let's watch that. So the first, this red dot down here has been covered. We can still see the three I just mentioned. Okay, first one is now gone behind. Where's it gone? I don't know. Continuing, this red dot's gone. We've got these two here. Will this be visible when the craft goes by? I say no. 
it's gone. It's covered by the steel, right? But I can see a red dot here. So this, this, I can see one here. This, this uh, part of the craft, this is the open lid or the hatch area, actually. And it's just covering it differently to the way the white is covering things. So I'm going to let this roll. Um, and it gets worse and worse as we watch. So I really don't need to talk. I'll just let you look and think about what you're seeing, just as I will also be doing. Does that look solid? Good idea to cut. They often cut away when they just get terrified by what they're seeing. Now, this, this, this is just egregious. This is beyond egregious. And it's very revealing. This solid part of the vessel is covering what's in the background as this moves past. This whole area on this hatch is supposedly fill, it filled. It's complete. It's the nose cone of this thing. But yet we're looking right through it. Again, covering some of that uh, anomalous dots in the background as it passes over. So... If you believe you're watching reality right now, just check yourself. Okay, I'm going to let this continue. Okay, look at this. Wow. This is precisely why we can't find this live video on the NASA channel. I don't think they're that proud of this one. I think, you know, over time Reuters will drop the video and before you know it, this video won't be on the internet. So download it, keep a copy, and show it to your friends. Look at it fading out. Just look at that fade. Things don't need to be solid in outer space whatsoever. Wow, look at that. It's neither here nor there. It's in a different dimension. So we do actually have some kind of hyperspace technology. Look at that. It's being beamed into a new dimension. But, but the lights can't come with it. The lights are just too dense in this reality. I have no idea how NASA wants to, you to uh, accept this, uh, believe it, you know, how they would pass this off. I'm very curious to hear what kind of comments uh, will arrive to justify what we're seeing here. And that's where I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Just look at that. So starting at around 10 minutes in this live stream, uh, please sit back, get the popcorn out, and start watching. Uh, I could keep going on this video, but I want to keep these kind of short. Maybe I will come back uh, around to some more footage within this CRS-27 departure. But for now, I just want to leave it there. Show the video to your friends, ask some questions, and think about it. What are we looking at right there? It's a mess. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll be back again with some more shenanigans in space pretty soon. <laughs>